We have one red. We have a battery. battery. We have this crazy monstrosity of a building. And we have a battery. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, Johnny and Lawrence back for another episode of Manufact You. Hello. I think the last time we set up the new distillation towers, and I think Lawrence is over there just now because yes. we've also set up the plastic now. Yeah. Um, so, quite simple. I've just literally ran a uh, fluid duct underneath the concrete and up the back here into this. Is it a chemical plant? I think it's a yeah, chemical, chemical plant. plant. Um, which is just the same as the same the one that was over there. I've literally just moved it. No. Um, but yeah, we've now got another full bin of plastic, which is quite exciting because <laughs> I literally emptied it before we started recording. So this works quite quickly. That's good. And also, we did notice another problem when we were in between episodes, and that's that there is nothing in a lot of our Trucks. drilling buildings now. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we have went and expanded a little bit. So down past our old copper one, we have set up two new buildings for iron and redstone. Yes. Which is quite nice. And there's a few things different about these. And that firstly, they're powered by solar. So granted, mm -hmm. they only work during the day just now because we don't have capacitors. But we are going to be looking at batteries today, so we might be able to fix that out. Yeah. Um, but as for these buildings, I've set it so the output comes out underneath. And is there no way down? I will make a way down. So the output comes underneath into a steel chest, which annoyingly I can't open, but then that goes into a bunch of item ducts, and if I go down again, we have decided to run the item ducts along with our pump network. Yes. Hey, pollutant network, whatever you want to call it. I mean, there were already tunnels. Makes sense. Exactly. So we've started rejigging a little bit how this works, and that more stuff is now using item ducts, but if we run... <laughs> All the way down here, there's like a little mini sorting room, I guess is the best way to describe it. Yeah. And everything comes into this one chest here. And then we have a servo on this side, which takes out all the crushable stuff, and a servo on this side, which takes out all the non-crushable stuff. And it's kind of hard to tell because I'm underground, but if we look at the top, I am directly under the like entrance to our smelting factory. Oh, okay. So everything just goes straight up to be smelted, that is. And we're still using the old belts for for the rest of the stuff at the moment. We yes. will eventually swap over to item ducts for everything, but, but we just aren't there yet. <laughs> but today I think you wanted to start working on batteries. Uh, yes. So it kind of looks like the way forward is batteries, and then you can do other cool stuff in logistics or the circuits. Okay. So, um... For batteries, we just need 150 red and green. So if I grab that. And that provides knowledge of batteries. Yeah. R013. So that's that done. And I'm going to quickly fill up the bins with the leftovers. I think you should be fine when it's two yeah. stacks. Um, but let's see, what does that unlock? Battery and charged battery. Okay. <laughs> Which are quite cheap, minus the whole sulfuric acid. Yes. Copper plate and iron's fine. Sulfuric acid, that's that's a new beast. Weirdly, these are ammo. I'm guessing you could use them in, like, energy weapons, maybe? Oh, uh, okay. That's this, interesting. Yeah, these are from tech guns. So, if you click on the uses... Oh, you can get night vision goggles. That would be very handy, would it? Mm, I <laughs> um, I'm not too convinced. <laughs> no. Logistic drones... Wait, you need it to make the ore scanner? I swear we've made an ore scanner. No, we must No. Have. I think you Oh, you get them, them at one. the very start, don't yeah. you? That's how it works. Um, but as for the sulfuric acid, I think there's two main ways of doing it. We Jeez. can either take our filled up sulfur filters and convert them into sulfuric acid in a chemical plant, or we can take the sulfur dust yep. and convert that, combine that with water to make sulfuric acid. Yes. And the sulfuric dust. I think we're kind of slightly more interested in. Yeah, I just... mean, we've got a little bit kicking around, but it's not a huge amount. Yeah, we just don't have a steady supply of sulfur filters because we're doing quite a lot for pollution. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I swear there was something to do with the coke oven in here uh, that I'm totally yes. missing. So um, I think the way forward is to make the sulfuric acid... Uh, we will be using the chemical plant to turn polluted water and a gas filter into sulfur dust. 
and the polluted water is one of the outputs from the advanced coke oven. So uh, for... I must be looking at the wrong kind of sulfur or something then, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. It's a bit confu convoluted. It's, yeah. But if we look at the polluted water, um, so this is made in the advanced coke oven as a byproduct. So you can either turn wood into charcoal or coal into coke coal. Or coldest. I don't think I noticed before, but does this mean we need a steady supply of gas filters we'll need as well? A steady supply of gas filters, oh, and we I also need to make that. steam from mechanism. Does it need to be mechanism steam? I don't know. Like, what kind of steam are we making our boilers? Like, is I that no for cross compatibility already mechanism steam? Maybe, but I will go over check. We will need to unlock the advanced coke oven anyway, so I am gonna quickly do that. Yep. Um, so this is 100 red, 100 green, and 100 production. Okay, uh, it is steam. That's the kind is, of steam we're is, making. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm glad we cleared that up. Yeah, it does not say what kind of mod it's from. Uh, okay, so that's that unlocked, and I'm going to quickly fill mm. up these bins again. That um, has thrown me a little bit. I never noticed the supply of the gas filters. Well, I've unlocked the coke oven, so I'm hoping that something in here will um, help. So, okay. the advanced coke oven. A more advanced coke oven that captures the pollution before it enters the air by using steam. As a result, the production of coke coal is much faster and produces a little more creosote, but something has to be done with the polluted water. Um, so this is research P016. I think I was looking at it. You think you were looking at it? I was looking. Uh, I don't know where I... this is. Processing, I guess, for P. Yes. Well, that's um, production and everything. That's, yeah. Um, huge fluid input and huge fluid output. That's all that has unlocked. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. It just looks yep. like a modular machine. Yeah. Um, I guess it would make sense to start with the advanced coke oven then. Maybe. Where? Like, it says it doesn't make much pollution, so I guess we could get away putting it in here. Yeah. We may need to rejig some stuff, though. Like, I, I, I mean, some of this stuff, or like... should we go set it up near the uh, farm where we have a continuous supply of wood? That is also a good show, yes. Yes. I was more thinking about the supply of all the other stuff, like the filters and copper gears, uh, plates and iron plates and stuff. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let us grab everything we need. Well, actually, let us have a look at these two new items that we will need. So what was it you said? It was P016? Uh, 016, yes. That was a good guess. Um, huge fluid... Oh, okay, so this is... Yeah, we've done all this before. Basic oh. fluid tanks. And basic fluid tank just on the other side. Oh, no, it's just combined with the normal. Yep, okay, well, we'll grab them and all the other stuff and then head over to the farm. Hey, guys, so we've been having a think about this plan, and it seems actually a lot trickier than we first thought. So yes. <laughs> not only is it... Yeah, I think we, we, we've worked it out. Uh, we probably need a standard fluid assembler, iron plate... Uh, sorry, metal presses, mixers, chemical plants, and standard assemblers, crushers, advanced coke ovens. So we're thinking of ripping out... Well... Getting rid of this original iron building, because that's yet another one of our buildings that is now useless, no longer working. So I think we're going to tear this out, and we have scrawled out some terrible plans mm -hmm. for how this building might work, and we're going to start setting it up and see if it works. Yep.
guys, it's been a minute, but we now have this nice new building for yeah. our, our stuff making. Or, I forget what stuff we're making. <laughs> batteries. Uh, batteries for Batter sulfur. Yes, it has been a second. You seem to be failing miserably with these doors. Yeah, they're really weird. I Tell you what, you go inside, I will try and figure out this door. Okay. Do well, want, uh, chuck me those as well. Chuck you what? Did I drop? Pick stuff up? I, I did. did. Well, so inside, we've laid out some stuff. Granted, most of it's just dirt as placeholders. We've also already hooked up a ventilation system, which hooks into our main ventilation pipe network. So hopefully, regardless of how much pollution these things make, it shouldn't be a problem. Hopefully. But starting at the back here, we've got our advanced coke oven is going to be here. We're going to need to make some metal presses for aluminium plates. We then need to make some filters. Polluted water in the chem... Well, sorry, mix sulfuric acid in the chemical plant? No. I think it is... I can't remember. Stuff. Stuff. We need to make stuff. Uh, we got a couple of crushers. We got a mixer from... Oh, that looked cool. That did look cool. I didn't realize they needed like a redstone signal. Um, mm. Kind of wished it opened the other way. Mm, maybe yeah. it depends on which way around you place them. Maybe. Um, but yeah, I think that, that will be our... Cool. Our door for getting in and out. I like it. I like it a lot. So we have, well, Lawrence has already kindly picked up most of the components, I think. Yes. So they should all hopefully done. just be a case of picking them up and placing them. Hopefully. I'm hoping so. I trust you. I trust that you've got all this stuff right. Yeah. We'll okay, see. Okay, you don't trust that you've got all this stuff right. I'm so like 90% sure it's all right. Okay, well, let's start with the coal coven. And the controller is in the middle of one, so we will do the whole putting the controller down first. I don't know why I got rid of that dirt, because I need that there for now. But let's put controller there. And then... Nope, wrong button. This one. Shift right click. Or right click. Whichever it is. I don't know, but we've that. got it. That's, that's all that matters, and hopefully... Hopefully, trusting Lawrence again, maybe a mistake, but it's fine. Probably a mistake. I am already seeing a problem. Oh. And I feel like it's my fault. Oh, okay. That's fine then. Yeah, you didn't tell me that this needs two huge fluid, fluid outputs. Well, I only made one. You could have read the recipe. You just said we needed them, and I just made one of each. That's fine. Right, I am actually going to go and make more of these, so this goes up to the ceiling. Okay, do you want to go do that as well? Then? Yes. Uh, One fl huge fluid output, please. That would be very I helpful. Will go and get that. You shall. Uh, so it looks like the energy item output goes here. And is that just more coke bricks? I think it is. Nope. Nope. I am screwing it up over and over again. As this is quite a big like structure by the looks of things. Yeah, and an odd, odd shape one. It's like a two Even cubes number. that are put together i know how dare it i know um i don't see anything for metal presses is that because you still got those uh in your inventory? probably okay well i will start with the mixer next and i'm gonna use the the projector oh, okay. because we made that last time oh so yeah we did we should use it so probably. all you do stick the mixer in the book stick the projector with the book well craft it with the book and oh yeah i didn't think it was working oh we're gonna need to figure out which way round we want this orientated so the sulfuric acid is going to be coming in this side where i am so we want the redstone on the right ah was it a fluid input or output that you needed red red output I yeah, I thought it was output, but I thought red would be safer in case I was wrong. That's fair enough. That looks like it's in the right place. I don't you can't take it off the hot bar. I always forget that. No. But I don't always forget it. I just always end up doing it, I guess <laughs> is what I mean. Oh. But there's them. We need the light engineering. Some more light engineering. And this looks like a reasonably simple one. I know we've made this before briefly. Uh, yes. We did set it up in our first factory for something, but then uh, it was made for concrete. I think. I think it was concrete. Oh, uh, you may be right there. Yeah. Oh, that's apparently complete. So it's probably the redstone nice. one we have to boot. It's not. It's that one. 
Ah, fair enough. Mixer done, input is there, which is good, because we want it coming in from our chemical plant. Yep. Which hopefully we have all the stuff for in this chest. I'm hoping this goes as smoothly as, uh, as it should, because I feel like we're organized now. Oh yeah, we are totally organized. We're not organized. Well, that's your fault. You said we had everything. We I do trusted have you. Um, right, so I've got the huge fluid input. I've got the extra doors. And because I can't figure out a nice way of doing it, we're going to be opening it with levers. What about a button? Or a button. A button would self reset? Though. A button would self reset. I could <laughs> yeah. totally grab some stone on my way there. I, I just assumed that would be like the. Um... I forgot buttons were a thing. I'm sorry. I just thought that was... I don't know. That was what came into my head to no, begin no, with. That is fair. Um, okay, it looks like that's right so far. Because I wasn't 100% sure what kind of blocks these were, but... I don't know. It's accepting them. So <laughs> I'll keep going with it, I guess. Uh, I think we might even solar power this this place. Oh, okay. That's because, a good idea, actually. Yeah, we're... We're trying to cut down on some of our pollution. I mean, I think we've got quite a good pollution solution. Pollution solution. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, at the same time, the, the less we add to it, the better. Yeah. Um, and like I say, we've already set up this whole building to deal with the pollution, but... Yeah. We... No point putting a big burner drill outside either. No. Did I go there? Did I go there, maybe? Uh, Ooh, yeah. I, I think I got those right. Oh, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm just guessing all this. I mean, it's really hard to tell what some of these blocks are, but yeah. so far it's looking... Well, yep, it's, it keeps updating the image, so I take that as a positive side. That does tend to be a positive side. Although this, I know we built this outside for, for a diesel or something, but it mm. doesn't feel familiar building it. <laughs> Did we ever check the height of any of these buildings to make sure they fit? No. Okay, because this one's bigger. It looks like it's still okay, but it is bigger. Ah. So where's the output? I never checked the output on this. Okay, I've built this bad. Because <laughs> we really want the fluid output the other way around. So, i tell you what. I'm going to tear this down, flip it around, and maybe set up the rest of them. Because a lot of these we've made before. Like the standard assemblers, the crushers. Like, I think yeah. it's all stuff we've done. So let's do that quickly and then jump back once they're all built. So guys, it's been a minute. A long, long minute. <laughs> Probably more like an hour. But all of our chests are empty now. Ignore that one. Everything else is empty, honest, I think. And ignore that one as well. Most of the chests are empty, like I was saying. <laughs> but we now have our advanced coke oven, our chemical plant, our tanks, our metal presses, our fluid... A standard assembler, sorry. Our fluid assemblers. Crushes. More tanks, mixers, crushers. It's all done. It's all finished. I think it's all done. As for power, we have a big array of solar panels on the roof, which all come in, and I don't know if it's going to be enough power. We did not check. We nope. are hoping. <laughs> we also now have a basement, which is pretty empty, except from a boiler, which we'll get into in a second. Yeah. We also have a bunch of item ducts now, and we can't really easily see, but this runs all the way back to our factory two? Factory yes, one, factory whatever. Two. And essentially, let's try starting at the start and see how this is going to work and hope that this does work. But Hopefully. We have an item bin here, which Lawrence has filled in all the holes in the floor. I had left them. Um, <laughs> oops. But uh, yeah, so these all have filters on the bottom. So we are getting aluminium all the way from our base. Lawrence had to set up another compactor to handle that. Yep. We are then over here getting copper from the base. And that's getting turned into plates, which are going into this bin. Underneath, we have the item probes. No, redstone probe connectors which basically just tell the metal presses to turn off if there's anything in this bin. And that gets automatically extracted into the fluid input. But I did say I would start at the start, and I've totally not started at the start. So <laughs> Close enough. Coke oven. First, do you want to go fetch some logs? We will need to automate I that have... for now. Okay, well, do you I want to stick some logs in and just see what Oops. happens? Where's the input? I actually have no idea. Uh... On the top? On the top. Uh, okay. There we it's go. So... you built this. 
I did. So this isn't quite finished because we don't know where the fluid comes out. Wow, wow that, that is slow. slow. I thought that was going to be way faster than that. Yep. Also, there's an item output. What does this make? Oh, Char charcoal. Yeah, charcoal. Uh, we're meant to be doing something with the charcoal. Yes. Oops. Well, we forgot about the charcoal as well. Um, <laughs> uh, that's going to the crusher. Yeah, but I just got rid of all my item ducks. Do you have any? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. Do you want to run them? So this is going to get wood from our farm, which we will set up. I kind of forgot about that. Then we're going to have the coal charcoal coming out here, going all the way over to the back left crusher. Maybe it'd be better to run it under the floor. I don't know what would be easier. Uh, I was going to run it on one side. Uh, okay. Well, this will go into this item bin. No. Yes. No. No, yes. just go into that hopper on the top. Yeah. Don't want it to go into the item bin. That'll get crushed into charcoal dust, which will get output into this bin. That will then come along into our standard assembler, which will get combined with the aluminium plates to make filters, I believe. Yep. Is that right? That it right. is right. These filters, once we add a servo on here, will then get extracted all the way out into our chemical plan. And once we work out which fluid goes where, oh, it works the right way around. Yay. Oh, that's awesome. So the reason we hadn't hooked these up is because we didn't know which one would be creosote and which one would be polluted. But we do now. Yep. And this has worked out perfect because that goes there. Servo. Put that on, and then this one just goes straight over. I'm just going to connect it at the bottom for now. We might want to put it in the top, but yeah, for now, that's fine. So that uh, should... But that should be the crusher going, maybe? Awesome. Yep. Yeah. So crusher is crushing charcoal. Aluminium plates should get automatically made as that soon as this starts using filter. them. That, that is, is going a in. filter. It's going into our chemical plant, which just got used up, so... Yep. Not enough energy. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. That's a problem. <laughs> yeah, oh, because it's not connected up the top. Why is it not? Is it not? Oh, no. Oh, God. Please don't burn out. It's going to burn out, isn't it? I don't I don't have any on me. Let me fetch one. I've got some. Oh, okay. Is this uh, the right... Oh, no. Oh, it didn't That's burn out. Didn't That's burn good. Up. That's good. Did it fill up? It's full of power. So this is processing, and this should make sulfur. sulfur, which it is. It will also make water, which we do not care about, so we're just going to avoid it in a trash bin. Yep. But the sulfur should hopefully... It won't do anything, because there is a filter set up. But if I put it on the filter, this will get combined with the iron that is being crushed in this crusher, yep. and should hopefully be mixed into... Oh, we need to we get need five. To fill it with water. You're kidding, right? No. Oh, okay. So we probably don't want to avoid this. Oh, no, we could probably <laughs> run that that way. Yeah. yeah, okay. Well, let's get rid of this trash can for now. And let's... I honestly didn't know we needed to put water in. Well, well that's we convenient just anyway. mix iron and sulfur to make sulfuric acid. You, need you water. totally could. Why is this not doing anything? Because Missing it's fluid in not there. got... I think you filled this with logs. I did. Is it went through them all? No, it's just really slow. No, it's really slow. No. Oh, that is so slow. Do we think this could be sped up using the concrete stuff? The concrete stuff? The um, modifier things. All oh, right, I was thinking modifiers. I didn't know what you meant by concrete yeah, stuff. Yeah, the, the repackaged concrete. Oh, that is like the most awkward way of describing that I mean, ever. Yes, but... <laughs> <laughs> um... uh, so this has some water in. It just needs one more sulfur, so we're going to have to wait on the coke oven. But this sulfur will then go nowhere. Because we haven't hooked it up. Yeah. But that's fine. We can hook this up now. That's got water in it. I don't want water in that. Huh. Mm, output. Bottom plate. Uh, huh. Okay. So we're going to need to filter that, I guess. Yes. That's a problem. Do you mm. happen to have a bucket? I actually don't. I will go and grab a bucket. Do you want to grab a bucket and maybe a fluid router? Yep, kind of. Just in case. Do the item, well, the fluid ducts play nicely with the fluid router? Uh, yes. Okay. I have no idea, but I'm going to say yes. <laughs> Maybe get some fluid ducts just in case. Some uh, fluid pipes. You knew what I meant, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, that disappeared. The sulfur disappeared. Oh. 
And as far as I can see, we only have water in here. So where did that go? I do not know. Hmm. I feel like that should have mixed into sulfuric acid. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, we may need to wait on this make. Actually, do you want to bring some sulfur back with you just so we can speed this up a little? Yeah. Kinda. That could be a good idea. And then we'll see why. I, I, I feel like this is what the mixer was for. Yeah. So it is definitely a sulfuric acid. Eh? Yes. From mechanism? Mm, In a mixer. Yeah. Five sulfur plus pulverized iron plus water equals, yeah, sulfuric acid. So where is it? Where is it? I don't know. I don't know either. Okay, you go fetch some and we'll jump back in a second. Yeah. So I ran away and got that sulfur that you wanted. So if yep. we check it in, see what happens. There's processing. Uh, it's water, water. Oh, it's down the bottom. Oh, wow, that's like tiny and hard to see. Yeah. Okay. That is a tiny amount. Now, the question is, do you, you don't have a fluid rear, so do we connect it and hope for the best that it'll be sulfur, or...? Yeah, I would... I it'll would void it if it's wrong. We're gonna need mm. to void it if it's wrong, is the only reason I'm asking. Yeah, no, that's... Uh, okay, it's sulfur. Yeah. And that maybe is... And um, now it's water. That's fine, <laughs> but it won't... Have, oh, okay. Yeah, okay, that's a problem. Technically, it's only half a problem, I thought, but... No, we uh, we're gonna need that fluid rear. Uh, okay, well, why can't we blacklist water on, like, a servo? Well, we could blacklist water on a servo if you really wanted. It would well, probably make more sense on a filter. I don't have Be any filters, is why I... Oh, okay, well, I'm just thinking if it's on a filter, we can loop this back around to the water pipe. Oh, okay. Um, I guess I need a bucket of water? Yep. Can I... Where would I get a bucket of water from? Uh, Downstairs, maybe, with our water. Um, so yeah, we never actually really mentioned this, but this is our infinite water to convert into steam so that we can power the, well, not power, but turn Would on. Would steam for the um, coke? Yeah. So that is just getting pulled up. If I could get in here with an item fluid duct. No, a fluid duct. Yeah. Not an item fluid duct. Um, for the pollution from this, we're just running vents up to this pump, which is into a chimney, which comes up here, and just all gets recycled into our, our main thing. That doesn't have enough energy. What doesn't have enough energy? The coke cool oven. Oh, maybe that's why it's being so slow. Well, I mean, it was being slow beforehand, but... Mm, oh, it's nighttime. Ah. Uh, yeah, that no, it, it won't have enough energy, because we're doing solar and we have no buffer at the moment. No. But... I should be able to whitelist this, hopefully. Nope, because you just picked it up. Oh, there you go. Um, also, I don't know why there's a connector in there. A connector in what? The mixer. <laughs> no. There's an MV wire know. connector in there. So if that's blacklisted and I turn that back on, hopefully that should be fine. I, I'm i hoping this keeps working even if it fills up with water. I don't no. know what the deal is with that. I don't know. Maybe. We'll find out. Um, but anyway, now I think we're up to the final machine. So the final machine uh, is a fluid assembler and it needs iron plates, which we're retrieving from our main building, main factory. Yep. It needs copper plates, which we're actually manufacturing on the site. Exciting. I think that's already filled. And then lastly, we need the sulfuric acid, which we have like 300 millibuckets of. Sure, that'll that's be enough, enough right? <laughs> uh, missing fluid in, but so no. No, no, it's processing. Oh, 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 that is, that is It is processing. 90%. Uh, we have one red We have battery. a battery. We have this crazy monstrosity of a building, and we have a battery. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I do think long term this is worth it. I yeah. think once, like, one of the things we can do with these batteries now is I'm pretty sure we can unlock capacitor research. Yes. And then we could potentially use solar power for all. But it also means we can do flux ducts, which means no more burning out cables, just some lit. You know what? We could. Should we make our first flux duct? Yes, I think we should. Two lead plate, which I'm assuming we probably have, and a battery? That feels oh. doable. Um, I don't. Actually, is that still working? Like, have we made more than one, or was it just one? No, it's just one. I think we have. Um, 
some batteries in the magnetograph thing. That's what I was thinking. Oh. I d oh, I suppose we probably got them from loot bags or something. Uh, yeah. Battery. We have five. And then we just There's need some lead tons. plates. There is no lead plates. We Why are not making no lead, lead plates? plates. I know, but I just assumed we would have had some kicking around. I don't think we've needed them before. Really? No. Mm, maybe not, I suppose. Well, that's maybe something else we need to get hooked up to our automatic sort of pipe networky thing. But maybe. I can just quickly make a bunch of lead plates. So that's not too much of a problem. And I think because we put that filter on the magnetic craft thing, technically I could just filter them for a second. Yep. And that all mean it doesn't stop after like the first one. Because yep. <laughs> this system's good and all, but it, it will stop. Yeah. So let's see. We need two per six. This is actually quite a nice, um, actually I see it's quite a nice recipe. Those batteries are crazy. Those batteries are crazy. But I tell you what, let's grab some lead and then we'll see if we can get our first flux ducks. So we're just having a look at the, the factory in operation and it is looking like it's gonna just take care of itself. I think there's only two areas that currently need intervention, which are supplying it with logs and supplying downstairs with coal. charcoal. Well, coal. Oh, um, in regard to that, actually, that's a point. We don't have any coal in there, so maybe it's not getting enough steam. But um, we are making more charcoal than we're using for the batteries. So I think we'll probably loop that round to keep that going. And then we'll probably hook the logs up from the farm over here. Mm -hmm. And then this should be 100% fully self-contained, pretty much. Hopefully. But I did fetch the batteries we have at home. And I believe this is our loop. This is our loop. Oh. So if I ch stop, stop making item ducks. You stupid, stupid machine. So if I put them in there and batteries in here. Missing do we Processing? Get... Oh yeah. Oh, yes. Nice. Our first flux docks. Oh, I just gave you servos. Oh well. But you know what this means? No more burning up wires. No. We're gonna need to wait on quite a few batteries, but we're just gonna be able to run these. Like, that'll be so much better in here. Than the yeah. wire. I do like the wires how you can just like do them long distances with only like one cable, but it's gonna be so much better. Yeah. So, so much better. But I think that's been crazy productive that episode. It took way longer than planned just because we didn't know how them how involved these batteries were. Yeah, they're really quite involved. I'm pretty glad we did it. I, I think this is gonna be good. We're gonna yeah. have a nice source of batteries. A bit a bit slow, but fully automated. So I am happy. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the episode. Be sure to hit that like button if you have. And as oh. always, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs>